Hey guys, Xander Day here with the editing area, uh, doing the fire hands tutorial. Um, now, some of you are probably incredibly confused. Um, I don't know if, if many of you are very familiar with the uh, fellow YouTube user and partner, Freddie Wong, uh, channel name Freddie W. Anyways, he is an amazing video editor. Uh, he's, he's just awesome. Like I'm speechless every time I, I think about some of the stuff I've seen him do with video editing. Um, and one of his videos was called Fire Hands, and basically it looked like this, except his was way, way, way better. Alright, there we go. And that is what we are going to try to mimic today. Hopefully we can make it look better. That was, uh, that was actually not the greatest copy of it, um, but you know. I, I'm not perfect at this and however you will be after this tutorial alright so basically here's what you're gonna do um, first of all you're gonna go to composition new composition I always title uh, I'm gonna call this one fire hands kind of um, width is 960 pixels height is 540 lock your aspect ratio we're gonna do 24 frames per second and we're gonna make the duration yeah, 10 seconds. Perfect. All right, so now we have our new composition. You're going to grab your raw footage, which for me was just me standing there rubbing my hands and then, uh, and then you know, pretending, obviously, like there's fire on them and looking all amazed and stuff. Uh, so I'm going to cut this down a little bit because I don't need all that stuff of me walking in. One of my major pet peeves is when people have like a video tutorial and it's and half of it is spent them walking in and recording and, and you know pressing record on the camera and then walking out and it's just edit the video as you go that's that's how I see it all right so that's all there is for that um, the next thing you're gonna do is take uh, your fire uh, footage which uh, for many for many of you people surprisingly don't know like that the fire footage is all it is is fire and obviously it's not showing up all it is is fire uh, in front of a black screen which allows it to blend in with the video um, with the help of obviously of the software within Adobe After Effects um, so since it's not showing you I guess well that just sucks for us um, I'm gonna drop the fire on top of footage and let's see here, where do I want, where do my hands go up? I'm looking for the place that my hands go up because that's going to be the place where my fire starts. So that looks a little, that looks pretty good actually. Um, and I should adjust the fire too because I don't need a massive flame, although that would be pretty cool. Um, Alright, this is, this is also the part that I hate about tutorials is um, the part where I have to make you guys wait and just kind of sit around and watch me jack around like I just did. Like, I can't believe I'm such a noob that I just moved the the thing underneath me that was kind of gay. Anyways, alright, I think that'll work for now. Um, it, that, it doesn't have to look perfect right now. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to right... Uh, well, we could right-click down here and go to New... But uh, so you guys can can without without a doubt see what I'm doing. You're gonna go to layer, new, null object. Now this null object is just gonna sit and it's probably gonna be a red square. It's not gonna hurt you. Leave it there. Don't tinker with it at all. Okay, so go to footage now. You're gonna click on your footage and then click track motion. Now it's gonna bring up a new window and hopefully your uh, your tracker window is already set up. Your motion source is going to be that footage file. Obviously, it, it may not you may not have called it footage, but whatever your main footage uh, file is, is what you want the motion source to be. Uh, tracker 1, transform, and then position, rotation, and scale. You're going to want to uh, click position and rotation, so those two are checked. Uh, your motion target is null 1. Now, what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to set up these... Um, these tracks, these track points here, to uh, separate ends of my hand, because I want the fire to be obviously tracked to my hand, so I don't have to go in frame by frame and you know jack around with it. So um, this looks good right here. I'm going to bring this over to my thumb. Oh, look at that stubby thumb! 
and then I'm going to bring this one over to right in between my pinky and ring finger. And then what you do is you just let that uh, play out. It's going to go through every single frame um, and basically and it's just going to track it. And it's going to keyframe it automatically for you. One of the greatest inventions uh, within this software I think is available is this. It's just brilliant. It's It has saved my life and it's saved my friends' lives so many times when it comes to video editing. Um, I strongly recommend track motioning over keyframing individual frames. You're going to save so much time and a, a lot of tears and blood and stress. Uh, just go with track motion. Um, so this is going to take a few minutes. So I'm actually going to check back in with you guys when it's done. Um, but I promise I'll be back ASAP. Uh, to finish this tutorial. I'll be right back. See you guys. Alright, well, hey, hey again, guys. Uh, the track motioning is just about done. Okay, correction, it is done. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to bring it back because I don't want it to continue past what it has to. And there's going to be a bunch of these blue squares like lined up. They're not going to be on your final video. Don't worry about it. The first time I saw this, I was like, oh gosh, I just ruined my video. They're not going to be on the video, but it's just there to show you you know how the track points are moving so now what you're going to do is apply that to your video just click OK if it says X X and Y unless you're planning to do something crazy now what you're gonna do is take this little thing that I call the swirly over here uh, on the fire footage and you're gonna drag that over to null one now what that's doing is making uh, null one the parent of it so now if we go over here and watch I don't want the red box there alright there we go You'll see that the fire is is being track motion with your hand, uh, or my hand. Sorry, not your hand. Um, so you don't have to do it. It's excellent. It looks great in my opinion. However, I I, I do want to point out that you can move what you can move this around a little bit to make it even tighter, and it's not gonna hurt the track motioning. You can you can mess with the scaling of the of the flames. You can mess with the position of the flames, you can mess with whatever, and it's not going to affect the, the track motioning. The only thing it will affect is the position. So you need to watch and make sure that every part of, of this is where you want it to be. And if it's not, just fix it. It's not going to hurt anything. All right, the next thing, uh, actually the next part is kind of optional. You can be done here. If all you wanted was fire, that's fine. However, if you want that little smoky part added to it, um, stay tuned here right now and you can find a smoke file similar to the fire file except obviously smoke duh and you can take this smoke file oh look computers being slow again alright you can take your smoke file and drag it underneath the fire file so now you have smoke and line that up with the fire obviously because you don't want the smoke coming like 25 seconds before the fire that would not make any sense I'm going to have to rescale this again. Uh, fun, fun, fun. And I want that to go there. Now, if you watch this, you'll notice that the smoke, which has the, which is, uh, you can, you can kind of see where the frame of the smoke is by those eight dots that are in a rectangle. Um, it's not moving with the hand. Now, some of you might be thinking, oh, great, we got we to gotta motion track that, too. You do, but not, not the same way that you motion track the fire. Now that you have this null one over here that already has your motion tracking, all you have to do is take the swirly thingy majiggy of the smoke and, and make null one the parent. And now, wait, I don't want the, the rectangles and the squares and everything. Okay, there we go. Now, as you can see, the smoke is also keyframed in, and I mean, sorry, excuse me, motion tracked in with the fire on my hand. It's gonna look really, really, really good uh, if you do so. If you do a little bit of color correction, I could actually do that right now, just because this is gonna bother me if I finish off this tutorial without, uh, without doing that. Oh, good thing my my fingers are just like dead today. I don't know why. I can't click on anything right. All right, color correction. Curves. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Okay, there we go. I'm going to grab this and make it a little... Oh, gosh, that's ridiculously dark. 
All right, there we go. Maybe that'll look a little bit better. Let's watch now. Oh, wow. My computer's being slow again. Woo! All right, I think that looks uh, pretty good. Um, it's good enough. I hope I got the point across to you guys. If you have any comments or questions, uh, feel free to leave a comment in the comment box below or send me a personal message. Um, also, be sure to subscribe. You know, uh, I've been on this channel now for two... Uh, I, got, I got the channel yesterday, and I already have four tutorials up. I am incredibly dedicated to this channel, and there are going to be literally hundreds of more hundreds more tutorials coming in the in the years to come no actually probably in the months to come um at this rate uh anyways thanks guys i hope that this was very helpful uh, again feel free to leave me any comments or questions this has been xander day uh with the editing area youtube channel i will see you guys later adios